So for our children's sermon today, live and online, I want to show you guys two things that Paul talks about in today's second reading. First, he says, you know what? There are things like seeds. How many pe- have you guys planted seeds? You've planted seeds, right? Seeds are these really tiny little things. And they look kind of gross, actually. They look like little tiny itty bitty things. They don't look like much. But when you take a seed and you plant it and you water it and you wait for it, it turns into things like flowers. Not these flowers because it's not the same kind of seed and besides these are silk. But seeds become something really amazing. But now most of us, we have planted seeds, right? We've planted seeds and we've watched them grow and it doesn't seem so amazing to us anymore. But actually it is. Paul says God created the world in such a way that he can take a seed and it grows into something beautiful. And what Paul really wanted to talk about in that reading was not really seeds. He wanted to talk about us. He says God can take us and do amazing things with us. He says even if we die, God can do amazing things yet. And and we think, how could that be? How could it be that God could do something really amazing, like, like bring something out of me, like bringing flowers out of a seed? But Paul says, you know what? That's the way God made the world. God does that with plants, and God can do that with us too. So one of the reasons that Paul used that terminology, why why Paul talked about that stuff, is he wants us always to know that no matter what's going on in our lives, God can do really amazing, wonderful things with each one of us. Thank you guys very much.